forwards. Go are forwards. you a big boy? Oh, look how clever you are. <laughs> well done. We've run out of room now. Do you want to turn around? Push it towards mummy. Where are you going? So welcome to day 22 of Vlogmas. So today's handmade outfit item is the penny dress but a shirt version um, made with a little tie at the front and I adapted it myself um, following the instructions on a YouTube video I'll pop a link to those in the description bar down below but it's made out of some lovely viscose that I got from Rainbow Fabrics. It is a short sleeve blouse so I've popped it on with a black t-shirt and a long vest top because this comes up quite high and I'd have a bit of skin showing. <laughs> Jensen is here, look. Come to say hello. <laughs> hello. Say hello to the camera. Hello. He's <laughs> shy. You got all shy. You got all shy. <laughs> So today's shawl isn't a shawl, it's a cowl, but it looks quite shawl-like in that it's quite lacy and long and has some tassels on it. So this is the Midsummer Haze Cowl by Hohi Locatelli and it is gorgeous. Look at that, I think Jensen agrees. <laughs> so it looks really long, but actually when it's on, it lays really nicely and is a bit like a shawl, um, but it's a cowl so it doesn't come off and I love the tassel. So this is knitted in some of my own hand dyed yarn in the cloud busting colourway and I used a four ply alpaca cashmere and silk base for this so it's very luxurious. So I'm now going to start making a stocking for Jensen. So I've just drawn the pattern out and I thought I'd show you how to join the pieces because I'm going to upload it as a four page document that you'll have to print out. Um, I'm just going to show you how to join it. Mum's supervising in the background, look. She has to check to see whether I'm doing it right, she says. <laughs> so this is going to be a stocking for Jensen. I'm going to use some fabrics um, that I bought to stock in my shop. Um, so if you do want these, um, these are like a gnome print. They're all different sort of gnome print themes. Um, you'll see them a bit better as I'm sort of undoing them and cutting them out um, for this particular project. Um, but I have got some of these in my shop. I'm going to show you how to join these four pieces of paper together to make the stocking pattern. So I've scanned in the pattern for the stocking so that it's four sheets of paper. These are actually the printed version because I wanted to check they fit okay. So when you're going to join them you basically butt the pieces of paper up next to each other so that they are perfectly aligned. And there will be a gap in the printing in between here but you can see that those lines will join if you just pencil that in so tape these four pieces of paper together you've got one two three four in that order so i'm going to stick those together and cut it out and then i'll show you the next bit so there we go i've cut it out i've cut sort of on the inside of the line um, because it's basically where i've traced out over um, an original draft I sort of made. So cut on the inside of the line. You may find that the lines are slightly askew, but you can just you can just pencil it and smooth the line in and then cut it out. Um, but there we go. That is the stocking pattern. You can download that from my website. I'll leave a link in the description bar down below. So I've decided to start with three inch strips um, because of my particular design of fabric. So for this fabric, the scale of the print is a little bit bigger than the other sets that I've got in my shop. So if you've got this sort of ice theme or the one with a burgundy background and the little ice skates, they're a bit smaller so you can get away with using the two and a half inch strips. But for this print, I thought three inches would be much better because you're getting a bit more of the gnome print, especially in this particular one here and the one with the trees.
So I've cut three inch strips of all my fabrics and I've laid them out on the design that I want to do. So most of these, including the one I fussy cut here from this fabric, um, which is that bit there, are all cut along the warp of the fabric, which is along the selvage. This one here is cut the other way along the weft, which is that way. Um, so that I've got these little gnomes the right way round. So I've laid these out so that I can put my stocking here and cut that out. So I was going to do it so I could cut one out like that and then the other one upside down with the top up here. I've got to be careful because everything is sort of directional so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to join these up get one cut out and then I can maybe use those pieces um, on the next bit. So I'm going to make two panels like this, cut out one with the stocking this way, one with the stocking that way and have it so that that's the both sides of the outside and then I'm going to do, do the same again. I'm going to do another two panels of strips for the inside. So this is the print of fabric where there's got all different ones in and I fussy cut this particular one out here. I've done a three inch strip making sure that I've got a quarter inch seam allowance either side of the bit that I want them to be that I want to be showing if that makes sense. Um, so in terms of the warp and the weft off the bolt this is the warp and the weft goes left to right that's how I remember it left to right weft and then warp along the length of the fabric. So you can normally tell by the selvage of the fabric at the side that is in line with the warp of the fabric and then the weft is opposite to that. So these pieces are all sewn together ready to cut out my stocking. If you haven't done piecing before in quilting, I've got a little tutorial about some tips um, that I use um, to keep your seams nice and neat. I have decided to keep this as a sort of stripy stocking rather than a more detailed pattern because the fabrics are quite busy on this and I think that it would be really nice to do one with squares as well so you could take this and cut it into three inch strips this way and then rearrange them to make sort of squares rather than just strips but I really like this stripped version so now I'm going to take my pattern and I use patterned weights and a rotary cutter um, to cut out the stocking. Now I could save fabric and cut this out right at the edge of the fabric but I really want um, this pattern at the top um, to be central to the top of the stocking now. Um, I could have been more careful placing my strips in the beginning so to save fabric but I can use these bits of fabric uh, at a later date anyway. So I just use some washers as pattern weights. The parcels are all under the tree For things that have got quite tight curves, I tend to use a smaller rotary cutter um, so that you can get into those curves a bit easier. This isn't actually too bad, so a 45mm would normally be okay, but I'm going to use my, I think it's a 25 this one, um, just to make it a little bit easier. So there we are, I have the first panel cut out and I've got those lovely details at the top there. I'm going to do exactly the same and cut out the reverse side though. So make sure that if, you, if you're doing the same, turn that pattern piece over so that you've got like the opposite sock shape so that they're going to fit together for the back and the front. So if you want to join in, there will be a free pattern download from my website. The link will be in the description bar down below. I have some of the fabric packs left on the website if you want to get hold of those. Links to all the fabric packs will be on in the description bar down below. And I will continue tomorrow with assembling the stocking on tomorrow's Vlogmas. But now it's time to get those advents open. <laughs> Now it 
Kenza. Good boy. So it's time for your advent. Yes, day I, 22. I almost called you Jensen then. I'm not Jensen. <laughs> oh, is that Malfoy? Malfoy's joined the team. Yeah. Day 22 of the advent. Day 22. It's quite warm here. <laughs> well, there's a few candles. <laughs> what have you got today? I've got a caramel and a Ferrero Rocher. Oh, fantastic. So, has the kettle been put on ready? Yes. Good. Yeah. So, Mum, what's the song of the day today? Oh, it's got to be Kylie. Oh. Santa Baby. Oh, are you going to sing it for us? No. <laughs> and, um, where's that shawl come from, Mum? It's yours. Keeping, you... my wa yes. keeping me warm. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. I do. So, today's socks... Mine are actually yet another pair of simple top-down socks, but they're some gorgeous Lolo Did It yarn, um, and it was a zombie-themed yarn, but I can't remember the actual name, but I just love the colours of these, and I've stuck some pink toes on them. So Adam is wearing some Christmassy socks that I actually knitted for myself, but he seems to have acquired them. They are in some Nora George yarn in the Twas the Night Before Christmas pattern. And if I go down the side, it's got some Christmas trees down the side. And yes, indeed, they were my socks, but they suddenly disappeared. 